Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are going to look at function equations. Um, they're very similar to regular equations. It's just written in a different way. So it's nothing really new, but it's kind of a neat way to, to solve equations. And it does, in the future, help out to know and understand function equations and also to be able to write things in a function equation to be able to understand it. So just a quick overview. Um, basically, it's written in a different way. So instead of writing y equals 3x plus 4, we would write something like this. f of x is equal to 3x plus 4. That means the function at the point x, or in other words, where x is this value that you would write in here, you would substitute x into there as well. Let me show you. Um, basically, when you're substituting a variable into the equation, you would have um, a function equation that looked like this. And then if you said f at 3, that would mean the function at the point 3 is equal to 3 times 3. Again, you're substituting in the value of 3 everywhere you would see an x inside of this equation. And that's it. So along when you're solving this, you'll always be able to see x equals 3. Um, this doesn't mean f um, times 3. F is not a variable that you're multiplying times 3. It's saying the function at that point of 3. So this one here is the equation of a line, for example. So when x is equal to 3, what is the output? And the output is the value of that function, or typically what we have called the y value. All right, let's take a look at a couple examples using this function notation, just basically that, that um, f of x instead of having y in there. So here's a, a question. For the line with the slope of negative 6 and a y-intercept of 4, I'm going to write down the information that I have. Um, slope is equal to negative 6, and my y-intercept is equal to 4. Write the equation in function notation. So basically, instead of writing it as y equals mx plus b, I'm going to write it as the function of x is equal to mx plus b. So it's just going to be that way. Now, I, I know my um, slope is negative 6, so I'm going to substitute that in where I have the letter m. And my y-intercept is positive 4. So there is the equation of the line in function notation. Instead of saying y, y is equal to negative 6x plus 4, we'd say the f of x is equal to negative 6x plus 4. That's it. So if you're given a graph and you can find this information, you're basically changing y for f of x. That's all you're really doing. Okay? And so when you're using function notation, that's how it's going to look. Now, I do like this um, for when we're making tables of values and things like that. And you'll see that in just a second. Um, but let's go ahead and solve a couple of questions using this function notation. You'll start to see where, where I, personally, I, I like this. I like the way it looks when we use function notation. So let's see, we have f of x is equal to 5x minus 3. And we're asked to find f at the point negative 2. In other words, we're asked to find this, to solve this equation, when x is equal to negative 2. So we've changed f of x to mean f of negative 2. So we'll write out that that's 5 times negative 2 minus 3. So again, my function at the point negative 2 is equal to negative 10 minus 3. My function solution is negative 13. And so that means, again, when x is equal to negative 2, my output, or my y value, would be negative 13. Let's solve it when f is positive 2. We would have 5x minus 3. Remember, my x value that you see there is actually positive 2. So I'll get rid of that and multiply times positive 2. So my function at the point positive 2 is 10 minus 3. And so again, this is an equation of a line where my x value is 2 and my y value is 7. Okay, the function at the point 2, the output is 7. So my input is 2, my output is 7. So at the end of this, 
And this is where I think there's an advantage because we get to the end here and we know x is 2 just by the way that it's written. All right. Anyway, let's do two more examples here and, and then we'll finish up. So with this example, I threw in a decimal. You could have a decimal, a fraction, anything you want, really. It works exactly the same way as substituting variables into an equation would work. So h, this is the function of h. So h at x is equal to 3.2 times x minus 20. My x value in this case is negative 5. So I'm going to multiply 3.2 times negative 5, which will give me my function of h at the point negative 5 is equal to negative, or, yep, negative 16 minus 20. There we go. So my function at the point negative 5 is equal to negative 36. Now I'm going to solve for um, that same function, h, at the point 4 positive 4. So I'll rewrite this over here so I've got a little bit more space. Um, again, same exact function, 3.2x, which will be 4, minus 20. So my function at the point positive 4 is equal to, and I'll do 3.2 times 4, which is 12.8, minus 20. And 12.8 minus 20 gives me my function is equal to negative 7.2. So that's the way that we would solve these types of questions. Again, it's exactly the same as substitution problems, where you take the value that is in here, and that's your x value. You just plug that into the original function equation right here for the value of x, and you solve. It can be decimals, fractions, it doesn't matter. And so brief overview, basically from now on we'll be using, um, when it's a function equation, you'll see this notation where you have f of x is equal to mx plus b instead of the old way of writing it which would just have been y equals mx plus b. So basically nothing new, we're just writing it in a different way. This is the way that they use typically in higher level math. So Again, it's a good thing to get used to because you will be seeing this in the future.